good morning folks today we'll take a look at severe weather hitting our top viewer locations an interesting look at jupiter one of the best sprite photos of the year more volcano news and of course we come to spaceweathernews.com and take a look at the last day on our star in 193 angstroms not much happening folks it is a very calm star right now there's no flashing to be seen in 131 angstroms either great way to look for even small flares but there are none even in terms of eruption threats once the filament north of the coronal hole departs, you can see we're not going to have a ton incoming to take its place. The Earth facing quiet isn't even really needed right now. There are no sunspots and no chance for major solar flares today, at least not on the Earth facing side of the sun. Solar wind shows yellow speed dropping still, likely another day until the coronal hole stream arrives with NASA forecasters say it could even be two more days and our planet's shield is calm. The stream is coming in from that dark coronal hole. You remember we're also keeping an eye open for activity beneath our feet with this, not just above our heads. Nevado del Ruiz with more activity over the last couple of days. Again, it's that line at the coast. Top story today is a new look at Jupiter. We're getting to see a view with which most of us are quite unfamiliar. And a lot of this Jupiter news that'll come out this summer is in preparation for Juno. We've got a machine almost there, racing out to the giant to look for water and other things. Folks, this video is from the middle of last month, but it turns out to contain the best sprite photo of 2016 thus far. Beautiful reminder of the connection between space weather and our atmosphere. Across the world in Pakistan, we had winds in excess of 90 miles per hour, and in that part of the world, the structures, crops, and people are just not set up to handle that type of storm. Multiple deaths reported. Three soldiers dead in Texas after complications of the floods and rescue efforts. Vehicle turned over. They continue there and were focused as well back at the east coast where a resurrected Bonnie is driving up the coastline. We're still considering the southern flooding and more rain coming today to be the bigger weather story here. Eyes open tonight. Same goes for Europe where horrible rainfall has hit Germany, France and surrounding regions with major floods, damage to infrastructure and property. Vehicle orientations in the muck likely somewhat less than optimal for whoever owns them. The system in the Atlantic is moving very slowly and not expected to get there today, but lingering showers could exacerbate some of the downstream flows. Eyes on your local forecast, especially in flood-prone areas. Down under, we've got two concerns. First, we see a tropical moisture flow heading right at northeastern Australia. We also have the convergence off an Antarctic low heading at Perth in the western lands. Got to imagine that's a cold breeze coming to New Zealand, too. Had a new Deeper Look episode post yesterday, but it was also posted publicly on YouTube, so you can find it on our channel page. It's about the battle raging in physics from a very macro and non-specific view, but one hopes you can derive the purpose of the video fairly simply. It's 3.45 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.